previously on Big Brother. The first head of household, Mike, thought nominating Nicole for eviction against house favorite Cheryl would guarantee Nicole's exit. But Mike's strategy backfired as Nicole rallied and staged a comeback. If I were in your position, what my best play would be would be to like knock everyone's socks off and act like absolutely nothing happened. I, you know, I tried to go outside and sit down and hang out and not go hide or anything, you know? I mean. right. Now, Cheryl is out and Nicole remains. Hey, you, you got your set ideas? Fine, go inside. Meanwhile, tensions ran high in the house as Shannon and Autumn confronted each other. That's it sweetheart. is. Sweetheart. No, sweetheart. it is not. You want me to get you a bag of chips? Have a bag of chips and get a cigarette. Tonight, find out who will succeed Mike as head of household. Will the click from Chilltown, Mike, Shannon, and Will, continue to run the house their way? You know, it was a pretty easy choice. Thinking around. Or will Nicole and the self-proclaimed real people win the power to exact revenge? Next, on Big Brother 2. <laughs> I'm unpacking. I'm in shock right now. <laughs> I can't believe you guys voted for her. We're in trouble. Are you not so happy? We're looking at the three most hated people in the house. Are you just not so happy? I mean, I'm just, I can't even believe no, this is in the middle of is? this. It's called the art of war. I'm dealing with a lot of guilt. You know, I put up Sherry. Uh, she was one of my favorite people in the house. I thought for sure that Nicole would get evicted from day one. You know, I gotta live with this guilt. Sherry could have won $500,000 and I laid her out like that. He thought it was a good strategy and good for him. Girl, you are a man, man. Nicole definitely played on people's emotions and I think that, that it worked. I'm surprised, but, but it did work. I saved you, and you voted the other way. I've got to vote who I feel like I need to vote for, Mike. You know, loyalty, you know what I mean? Buddy, uh, everybody got put in a real difficult position. Right. Okay. Just remember, because it, it, it would have been you. You never know. As we just found out. You don't know why people voted the way they voted. Because you look shocked. Um, yeah. I, 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 like I said, if people did it for strategy, mad props. Cool. Everyone's playing the game. But if people actually voted like that for, I mean, I mean, Sherry? It's the nicest person here. That's, that wasn't about her. Mike's actually playing at Monica now. Oh, oh Mama! Why? Dude, let him cut his own throat. Who cares? I'm gonna go yeah, off on Yeah, he's just making enemies. That's what I do, Ken. I'm gonna go off on him. Any more women gonna get naked? These people are friggin' psychos. They're psychos. They are psycho. I don't care who the third person was that voted against Nicole, as long as that person is against Will, Mike, and Shannon. There's some more people are thinking. It's a game. We gotta keep that in mind. It's a game. My only goal is to get those three the hell out of here. Me too. Are you we kidding? We were running the game. We weren't running anything. No, well, that's because we lost Justin and Sherry in one day. You know what? Anyone that tries to hold their head above yours, man, I will do what I can to knock that shit, to knock them right down. I know for a fact who voted for Sherry and who voted for Nicole. Will, Shannon and Krista voted for Sherry to stay. I vote to evict Cheryl. Whatever I do, I do for strategy. Ain't got right. nothing against you, ain't got nothing against Cheryl. It's about me living in this game. I keep it real. It's one of us three is out next. Mm -hmm. If we don't win, who wins? You gotta win the head household. <sighs> it's like almost a little refreshing because I know where everybody stands and let's party. Let's dance, you know what I'm saying? No, it's really not, you know. Definitely tension is in the house and people are saying mean things about other people and um, backstabbing each other left and right. And I'm the only 
honest person in here. I haven't lied to anybody about anything or been shysty in any way. I tell you what, I think people appreciate a straight shooter than somebody that's trying to, you know, fly in under the radar and end up backstabbing them. I think a lot of other people thought this was going to be like, you know, a big love-in. They might have forgotten that this was a competition, at, you know, in which there's a half a million dollars riding on the outcome. I'm disgusted with some of the people that I have to live with. I am now hated by some people. When I looked up and I saw somebody go, hey, you shouldn't be a drama queen. Then he slammed the door and I was like, what the hell Why is that Why do I have a reason to be a drama queen? Mike's plot was to try to get me in bed or sleep with me or hook up with me or whatever to try to get me on their side because they knew the, that there was a chance that Sherry could be evicted. Let's do it now before the people get here. He was going to take this way, thing all the way and try to actually have sex with me to try to get my vote. She's a liar. She's an attention getter. I think I'd be a little more at ease if we were like alone. I understand. It's fine. It's cool. I was trying to see how far he would take it. When I found out he was going to take this all the way to the top, I said, no, I'm not going to do this. I got up. You pursued me. You pursued me. You pursued me. I didn't pursue you. So Wait whoever the hell said that I was pursuing you for some vote? I'm so sickened right now, I can't even speak. The vote really wasn't that important to me, and I certainly was not the sexual aggressor in the relationship. She was certainly the sexual aggressor for the two hours of madness. And um, honestly, yes, I did tell those guys, don't worry about it, I got it handled. Say it in front of people. I say already it said it, and everybody already knows. Don't I'm say not it. ashamed. Then say it. That you were plotting to, I guess, try to seduce me or whatever to get votes. That's so stupid. I've ever heard. You, you came on to Come every on, guy sweetie. in here, Autumn. Come on. I don't care about the game, Let's check but I'm not going to have like my name and my reputation be some Thank sort of sexual. Thank you for saying that. Well, then stop trying arrest. to do it to me. No, will you let me finish and I'll I let you talk? I don't want you to finish. I no, want I'm you to gonna leave me finish. alone. I will finish, okay? And I don't care about the game. I do not want my name soiled Neither because you want to get attention. You have cried for a week that you're not the pretty girl. Black guys, if there were black guys here, they'd pay attention to me. What does that have to do with anything, Mike? Why would three people come up and tell me that same thing? Because people are saying lots of things. But that, but like things. that, Mike? Why? Why do I need to do that? That was my question to you last <laughs> night. Why? Why would you single me out for something like that? Why? I did not seduce you, Autumn. The facts are, Mike, you it's came over. on to I'm me. I'm not saying anything else about it, and I'd like to just coexist without talking about it anymore. All right, well, we'll have a meeting in a half hour, and we can just all discuss I it. I won't be there. I don't want to Half talk. hour. 30 minutes. Great. I tried to talk to Shannon this morning. I asked her, you know, what she thinks I should do as far as, you know, eating better and maybe working out. I put a bag of potato chips on Autumn's bed. I thought she was hungry. <laughs> I think Autumn's being singled out by Mike, Will, and Shannon because they see her as the weak gazelle, and any predator will always go for the weakest animal in the herd. Well, I guess we know the game is now <laughs> on. Yeah, the gloves are off. The gloves are off. <laughs> I definitely wanted to give her a hug and just let her know that, that not everyone's like that, you know? Not everyone has that in them to be so hurtful. <laughs> I don't want to see her anymore. <laughs> it's just petty. Don't take any of this to hard. These people don't love you. It's not that. It's a combination of all this. It's just too much. I can be here with my kid. There's way too many people in this house that are always the victim. They are weak. What can you do? If you go home, they're, they're, then they beat you. Don't let them beat you. You don't have to look up to them when you get out of here. To be singled out is not cool, Krista. And you, it's not happened to you. Are you going to let the world see that you're weak and you're not I'd rather be weak. Why? I'd rather be weak. You wouldn't be in here if my you were kid. weak. You're not There's got to be some strong people and some weak people in here, Krista. We're not all strong. I've been through We're enough in my life to have to go through this stupid. Yeah, you've been through enough in your life. Where you at? I want to go home. You are not weak and you're perceiving yourself as weak because you're a single mom I I was raising the child. Time. You make right decisions in your life. You are a very right. strong person and you can, you've got to catch a grip. Come here. You know, I don't like to use like the word alliances or whatever, but obviously people are better friends with other people and, and that's that's how the real world works and that's how it works here. I, I just, you know, I'm really just questioning how I'm going to be able to stay here and, and coexist with you guys because I'm feeling a lot of hostility. I think a lot of evil happened in the last 48 hours. 
now that all this is whatever, we're trying to resolve this, how are we going to coexist now? Like, I just, moving forward. Because I just want people to tell the truth. And that's I'm, fine, okay. And you didn't say to me at the lunch table when we were sitting there that you were used to being the center of attention and the prettiest girl and you're having a yeah, hard time with Aldi. Yeah, and what does that have to do with anything? I've said that to several Can people. Can I finish? Yeah. And, and, and I'm, yes, I did And I'm not that. getting any attention here because I'm thick or whatever. And, and you told me last night also, you came up to me several times. If I, Shannon, you, tell me right now that if, if I hook up with Mike or whatever, um, I'm not voted out next. So I if I don't do that. that. Shannon, that's not what I said. Okay. That's not what I said. I, have a question. I said that I heard that I was next on the hit list. And was that true? That's what I said. And what did I tell you? No. That's what you told me. Exactly. I've never been the fat girl that somebody had to sleep with to get, you know, to use. I've never been that, and I, I don't know how to take it. What did you say last night about, like, fat and potato chips or something like that to her? Well, this was after I was called uh, numerous cuss words, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I just asked you what you said. I said, have another bag of potato chips. Okay, well, interestingly enough, I never enough, said anything a else. A bag of potato chips found its way to her bed today. Hmm. Did you know anything about that? Yes, I do. What were you trying to say? Why would you do that? Nothing. I wasn't saying but anything. What was your, what was your, why would you do something like that? To belittle her? To make her feel bad about herself? Well, let me see. How many times, how many cuss words or how many nasty words have you called me in the last 24 hours? Several. Adam? And I'm not denying it. But I'm okay. not. And but, I'm saying and I have right to your face. If you want to put a bag of potato chips voices. in my face, do that. But don't do it behind my back. Why did you do that? Do what? Put potato chips on her bed. I just want to hear what the motivation is. Well, why would you do that? There is no motivation. It's the it same as matter. calling someone a name. It's just a I'm just not. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, a, just, it's a joke. It's hysterical. Okay. It's a funny joke. Shannon can't stand Autumn. Autumn can't stand Shannon. I think Autumn's jealous of Shannon, and Shannon just feeds on that. But I don't think there'll ever be a resolution to that. So we can let the high school go, and let's just discuss it, and everybody let bygones be bygones. Why can't we all just get along? I mean, seriously, this is so friggin' retarded. There's a few people in this house that are the biggest bunch of fourth graders I've ever seen in my entire life. There's always a point where you need to step back, everybody does, mm -hmm. and needs to analyze themselves from another person's perspective. And it's very hard for me to take. criticism from other people, whether it be constructive or otherwise, but I know that we all need to do that. And I apologize, Autumn, for putting the potato chips on your bed. That was very nasty and rude and, and crude of me, but that's my way of retaliating because I don't like it when somebody openly is... Everybody needs to remember that um, we're not in here to make enemies. I think the meeting made things and better for the time being. The it, it, it didn't make it worse. It just kind of made everybody chill out and realize that we could still hang together. You know, we're, we're all in here for the same reason, whether it be, you know, we're all going to take a piece of each other or the $500,000. I'm in here for $500,000. I've got to keep my game face on. These people are seeing my weakness, seeing that I am sensitive about certain things, and they're pouncing on, on, on those things. And it's not just me, it's everybody. And I'm not letting any more of my weakness show in this house ever again. See it today everywhere. It's time for the second Head of Household competition. Normally, we hold this competition during the live show on Thursday, but due to special circumstances, we'll crown the new head of household today. The head of household is the ultimate position of power in the Big Brother house. Along with special privileges, such as a private bedroom, comes the responsibility of nominating two house guests for eviction. The first week, Mike claimed the prize. Who will it be this time? House guests? Hi Julie. Hi, Hi Julie. Please take your places on your mat. One of the rules here in the house is that if you're the head of household one week, you can't compete next week. So. Alright. Okay, looks like everyone is on their mat. As soon as I heard from Julie that it was going to be trivia, I felt pretty good. If you think the majority of the original 12 house guests gave us a home address that falls west of the Mississippi River, remain on your mat. Otherwise, step forward.
but then I realized a lot of the questions were going to be uh, interpersonal and people who listen and really share their stories with people and, and that's not Will and Shannon but it is Krista. Less than half of you listed addresses west of the Mississippi. That means all those who remained on the mat, please remove your blindfolds and join Mike. If you think the awning directly above the kitchen door is green in color, step forward. The awning is tan. The nine of you playing this game told us your favorite section of the daily newspaper. If you think that the life and entertainment section was the most popular answer, remain in place. Well, duh, it's sports. Autumn, Monica, Hardy, and Bunky chose life and entertainment, making it the number one answer. All those not on mats, remove your blindfolds. I was wrong. <laughs> Shock. Um, so anyway, I take off my mask and thank goodness Will and Krista are still on their mats. It was a pretty tense moment. Since you don't have watches or clocks in the house, you're probably gauging the time by looking up at the sun. If you believe the direction you are currently facing is primarily north, step forward off the mat. You are facing southwest. All those not on mats, join Mike. When I missed the question that I did, I felt like I let um, Mike and Shannon down. I looked at Will, Mike, and Shannon, and I saw the utter destruction on their faces. All right, house guests, it's come down to the tiebreaker. Please take off your mask. And when I took it off, it was like the pearly gates of heaven opened up for me when I saw Will and Shannon standing on the sidelines. I was excited, but then it's, I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't know what the next question was. It, it, I was just excited to be one of the three. How many times combined have the original 12 house guests been legally married? Now, whoever comes closest to the actual number without exceeding it will win. Okay, everyone, let's see your answers. Funky said six. Krista, you have down seven. And Nicole, you also wrote down six. The answer is eight times. Krista. Yeah. 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 Krista. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, Kent, Nicole, and Krista have all been married twice. So congratulations, Krista. Oh, oh. baby. Oh, Nicole. go girl. Why don't you get the key to the head of household bedroom from Mike? Come here, baby. You can go in and enjoy your new oh. private bedroom. Oh. Have a good night, everyone. Congratulations. Being head of the household is, um, it's great. I mean, you get all the candy, you get to eat on both sides, you get a nice little robe and some slivers. But I enjoy being head of household and thanks very much for the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh wait, checking the hold oh, on, checking the hold oh, on. Oh, I told you! Yay! Oh no, uh-uh. They're not cold yet, that's all right though. I can anticipate the wait. I called oh. Nicole in my room because I wanted to ask her, you know, how she felt about everything and who would she nominate. Well, Will's just got to go think about the household. Do you know what I mean? He drives everybody nuts. If you put up Will against anybody, Will's going. So if you put me up again, as long as you put Will, mm -hmm. I'll do that to you. I won't do <laughs> These are my favorite. These are my favorite cookies. She gave me her perspective, just like everyone else did. But she's not going to try to sway me either way. Try to imagine. Actually be fun. And this is the other thing. And these are my favorite things here. Hot tamales. But all I'm saying is, those three three people leave before me. I'll ask whoever's had a household to put me up, and I'll walk out of here because you guys need that money a lot more than I do. I don't really need that money, man. I know you need that money, but I want you to believe. And I know, I know you believe me because you know I. Ain't you hear me? I don't 
don't know. I don't know what to do. There's so much animosity in the house. I'm dead if I do, and I'm dead if I don't. So I just kind of get, I'm gonna get everybody's idea, and I'm gonna make a decision for myself. Oh no, that's enough. I'm playing that. I asked everybody uh, who they would like to nominate. Monica. I don't know. I just don't want to look like the bad guy. Who would you want to nominate if you were head of household? I know. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? Nominate both one stay. You can do it another way, one stay, one stay. I, I don't want you to think about this, okay? I just, I, I just gotta get everybody's point. That will kill me, because I showed him all day. But I was playing. I can't think about it too much because it's what do you like? I'm just trying to stay neutral because I have a certain respect from everybody, so I want to kind of keep that. But Hardy and somebody else. I, I, um, Hardy has gone back and forth on too many situations. Like maybe Monica and Hardy. Monica? Well, I just don't know. I mean, it's tough. You know what I'm saying? I can't read her. I don't know her. Oh my God. What am I going to do? Autumn, I'm gonna ask you because I'm gonna ask everybody now. Who do you want to nominate? Will and Shannon. I'll give you three people to choose from: Will, Shannon, and Mike. <laughs> Definitely Will. Either Will and Mike or Will and Shannon. You doing that because of the household situation or because it's best for the game? No, household situation. I cannot feel comfortable. Watch your fingers. I cannot feel comfortable, and I cannot no, be myself. Bad, though. Yeah, Will always makes fun of me the other way, sweetheart. Me too. Will makes but that's fun just his personality. Me. I would be a lot more comfortable if he would just leave. Okay. Personally. I mean, Will and Shannon have never tried to get to know me. They could care, they could give a shit about me. Who's so, Jaws? I don't know, but they're the two people. Who's Jaws? They're the two people that I like the least. And, and I vote on who I like and who I don't like. Private conversation. We'll see. I'm getting different people from everybody, but um, basically everybody wants to wheel out at this point. Damn. I mean, I don't want this. I know. But I don't want to win, but it, I got caught up in the game. Well, here, you know what you can do if you want to take. If you want to be, if you want to not feel guilty, you could say, "I'm basing this decision on who does the littlest amount of work." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because some people do work and some people don't. I like Will as a person. I mean, I, I mean, I love listening to his stories. I think he's very intelligent. But I hope everybody understands that it's part of the game, and I'm in here to win. So, hard feelings are hard feelings, and I'm just goddamn pretend like a little country girl by the things I am. Jack TV is the second thing I've ate today. I had a, pe a peanut butter, half a peanut butter sandwich this morning, and that's it. Everybody's complaining eat. about the lack of food that we have right now, and peanut butter and jelly, and low-fat peanut butter and jelly. Until we get a food challenge, I'm like, wasting away. Well, that's tomorrow, though. Thank God. What if you're, what if you're on the losing team? Well, they said they're getting us fat-free peanut, or the fat reduced fat Thank peanut God. Butter. Yeah, are you kidding me? It was crazy, and now that we have the food competition coming up, I think it'll be really good. It really does get your nerves. Yeah. You never know when you're going to be hungry or you're going to be fat. Because I was very hungry today. Once a week, we compete for food, so what we're asked to do is take all of the food out of the kitchen, put it into the storage room so that we have nothing left there. It was one of the saddest moments of my life to see all that food go out of the kitchen. God. You're ready to run. I feel like a substitute teacher. <laughs> So we're having a food competition today, and I think that it'll be very good for the group. It's boys against girls, and we'll just have to see. For one, I'll let y'all know I do not compete in the competition. This is just y'all. Okay, so let me read this to y'all. Okay, good morning, house guests. To prepare for today's food competition, you'll each write down your estimated weight on the lawn beside your name. A word of caution, weigh your answers carefully. All right. After uh, oh, two weeks, Autumn. how am I supposed to know? That's away? the competition? No, it's that's the, the team. Maybe it's the beginning. Just for anybody to info, I'm 320. Can I have a body fat uh, check, too, as well? So I can see uh, what lack of food has really done to my body? I think I've got my body fat down to about 90%. I'm going to put 200 because it's easy to remember. About 220, Bunkies. I'll probably never be content with my body, but I get motivation when I work out with people like Hardy. Give your weight on that. Bye. Hey, this is not a good Oh, thing. I don't care about my <laughs> weight. Uh -huh. I'm, the, I'm the heaviest of the girls. Oh, I'm the fattest of the guys. Go, girl. Let's go. When I saw the scale, I was like, oh, snap. 
And I know women who don't matter where they live and where they're from, we all struggle with that weight thing about, oh, I gained some weight. We always either try to say less or we try to say more. Competition du jour, a pound of flesh. For this week's food competition, the male house guests and the yeah. female house guests yeah. uh -huh, <laughs> will be competing on separate teams. You'll step up to the scale and your true weight will be revealed. I will record your real weight next to your estimated weight. When the weight of both teams is totaled, the team whose actual weight comes closest wins food for the week. The losing team will eat nothing but peanut butter and jelly. I would scale the wall if I had to eat peanut butter and jelly for a week. Who is ready to face the scale of justice? Woo! <laughs> First we have up for the men would be Go, Ken. Go, Ken. Go, Ken. Weigh something. He's two. On the dot. Yeah! Damn. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna kiss you. Fall oh, about if you get off that scale. Oh, that was huge. Okay, oh, I'm gonna get so rooted out. Okay, no, Kip not. weighs 200. He is. Yeah! 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 Baby. 168. It's 165, baby. 165. Yeah. All right, good. Have Come 35. on, Monica. Yeah, 135. Work, work, work the scale, baby. 133. Oh, yeah. There we go. He's dead on. It's 165. Oh, yeah. How did you know? Come on, girl. 128. That's why I answered. I'm going to have to say 132, man. Oh, it's so far, it's good. It's so far, girl. All right. Buggy. Muscle Buggy. mass. That's muscle Buggy. mass. That's 10 pounds Buggy. at least. Buggy. 190. 180 on the dot. Can't down? Oh. On the dot. No, he's not. Shut up. Take your hat off. Drop that hat. Monkey's weighing in at 185. All right. All right. All right. Let's go, Shannon. Get my weight. She's at 134. Oh, yeah. 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 Whatever it is where we gotta be within a pound. Yes. You said 186, Hardy. It's 186. The total for the guys, so their total real weight is 898. Oh. Yeah, two pounds. Five forty one is the weight for the women. One The verdict is the men will lose the food challenge. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. That's all right, you're gonna be Peanut butter and jelly for a week this is horrendous. Yeah. It's all right. All right. Cool. That was good. Lazy boy furniture galleries. Chilltown, which is also known as the Brat Pack, consists of Will, Shannon, and Mike. And the rest of us basically fall into the hot box. And um, Chilltown is running scared. There's someone who I hate. You're not uh, one of my best friends, but there's someone I hate much more than you. So, um, And that's supposed to make me feel better? No, not at all. Not at all. You but should have no hate for me. You have no reason to have yeah, any hate for me. Right. Not, not no, I, I didn't say, any, I, didn't say hey, I hated you at all. I said that... You know that you haven't been one of the people that I'm close with. You know that's all. That's the only situation. And you know what? Also, um, this isn't really fair either. But I sort of attribute that to um, proximity when beds were made, because the people who are in that room are the people who I'm not the closest with, just randomly. Will came up to me, who hasn't looked at me, literally even looked at me in two days. He's like Nicole. I'm sorry uh, that I misjudged you, and I'm sorry that I did what I did, and. Um, you know, hey, you know, I'm really sorry, I suck, and, and the entire time, I'm like, you're right, you do suck. I don't like feeling like I have to tiptoe around you. You don't have to tiptoe around me. Well, no, but I, that's why I came in here, because I feel like you have a beef with me, and I didn't want that, and I want to know what's, what's up with stuff, 
And if you do have anything to say, I want you to say it to me. And if you still don't like me after I walk out of here, it's all right. I still said something. It just was obvious to me that once Sherry was voted out and things weren't going to go their way, that they decided they're going to change gears and not necessarily, well, yeah, kind of start sucking up to the people that they shunned before because they need votes. Yeah, you did an amazing job. Because if the vote was the day that I made the nominations, you'd be packed and out of here. So I give you credit. I mean it. You won over some people and... You know, Justin leaving altered a lot of things, you know, and it's, you, <laughs> you deserve, you know, in a, in a weird way, the word deserve is very odd here, but you, you know, you connected with people and for whatever reason, whatever personal things you had with them, you got them. There's absolutely nothing, and I mean nothing, that Chilltown could do to come back and make things okay with me. I just want to let y'all know that I don't think I'm better than anybody. I always want to bring out the positive in everybody. I mean, I'm not looking to like, you know, whatever, but I just thought I'd tell you guys that I'm not better than anybody else. And that if anybody wants to do anything, they can always ask me for help with anything. If anybody just wants to talk to somebody, you, you don't have to feel like you can't approach me. I'm not. Do you think you'd be having this conversation if Cheryl was still here? Yeah, because it, it, it upsets me when people think ill of me, definitely. Shannon, you know, she's, uh, she's so phony with everybody. It's, it's unbelievable. She's just smoozing everybody and, and sucking up to everybody. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I love it. <laughs> I hate it. What do you think? Bob what? Tomorrow. <laughs> Your opinion means a hell of a lot to me right now. Did you put some out there so I can give you feedback? Okay. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to nominate. No, I don't want to know. Everybody, almost unanimously, except for three people, said well. Except for three people. My biggest threats when I walked in here, day one, William and Janet. Some people said Harding. Right. Okay, because they think he's a threat. Or I can throw I mean, Harding and Will. Or I can throw Hardy and Autumn. Split the votes. One weak, one strong. And then things will in the house. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Your ass be out next if you do that. She's got to stay on the fence. That's the smartest way to play it. She's got to put one chill town and one of us up. If she puts me up on the block, that's fine with me. So you think we're going to vote against you instead of Will or Shannon or Mike? I don't think she's going to put one of them up. She might put you and me up. Needs to talk to her. I've already told her last night that if she does not put at least one person from the Brat Pack up, she will be screwing herself. I don't know if it's wrong, but I would probably do two from Chilltown because I know they hate me, so what do I care that one of them's gonna stay? I haven't lost anything. I'd probably do Will and Shannon just to break them up, break up the love fest. I think that we all need to prepare ourselves that somebody from Chilltown is not gonna be in that nomination. Oh, I think Will needs to talk to Krista. Will's not a threat, which he isn't. He was not going to win the game. He's got way too many enemies. You know, he might be able to make up just some like ground, but... Just like Autumn's not a threat. You know, and that's how she has to look at it. I mean, I said, you do need to do... Right? You need to take someone out of this game that might take you out of the game. And Will's just like, they're his enemy. All those people are his enemies. So you're in the middle. He's not going to, you know, which is true. Because we thought... She was going to help us out. If she does that, but she needs to know those people are sharks. If she well, puts up Will, he's out and it's, you know. Then it's me, then it's you. It's over. Where's Will? He's out with Nicole. 
I understand my position now. You know, I've tried to have a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the fun I create is only only fun for about a third of the people here. You know what I mean? And that's not a big percentage. And um, I wouldn't be at all surprised if I was nominated. I think you're one of three, and she's choosing numbers, so you got a 33% chance of not being. And when almost everyone in the house said will. <laughs> yeah, oh, I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, what up? I need everybody to um to come in the living room. Oh, y'all. The living room or that room? The living room. And, need some uh, help, girl? Ready? Okay. As you know, one of my duties as head of household is to nominate someone for eviction. In a few hours, I will nominate two of you. After collecting everyone's house keys, from the memory wall, I'll place the keys of the house guests who I am not nominating into the device like this. And I'll put the key in. Um, we'll gather around the dining room table where I will pull the first key and reveal the name of the house guest who is not nominated. The house guest is safe. They place the key around their neck and pull out the next key till there are no more keys left in the box. The two house guests without keys are the ones nominated for eviction. I will then face the nominees and explain why I nominated them. Later in the week, one of the two nominees will be evicted and lose their key forever. And on Big Brother, a lost house key means it's the end of the game. Y'all all understand how to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No. no. Two house guests have a birthday this week. Which one would you like to receive a private gourmet dinner and a surprise greeting from home? One, Mike. Two, Krista. Call now to make your choice. 1-900-740-1000. The phone lines close at midnight tonight. I don't want to turn on anybody. You have to consider that there's only 10 of us now. There's only 10 people left in the house, and three of us are not going to vote. She's struggling with what she needs to do. Being the head of household is not fun right now. It's a very nerve-wracking. I've been biting my nails like crazy. if Krista Bell is going to put the keys in any particular order. I'm always nervous until I see my key pulled out. I'm just going to nominate two people that I think should go. I thought my life back home was drama. Oh my God, I can't wait to get home. There is no place like home. All right, y'all. I need uh, everybody to gather around the table. Oh, it's that time. Yeah. Hey y'all, it's time for my Good
I honestly don't know what to do, and I'm not used to being the bad guy. I've got a friendship with almost everybody, and I don't want anybody out. Oh, <laughs> uh, y'all know I have I to see her room. Room. I have to go to the room. Have a room. And as y'all know, when you pull your key out, <coughs> um, you say you're safe, put the key, turn it to your next person. Um, I want to tell, I didn't want to be put in this position this early in the game. Whether y'all disagree with my decisions, but I didn't want to put anybody at the stake, and I love everybody over here, and, you know, this cuts my head because of it, but it's something I had to do, and uh, I hope y'all understand that. Okay? Cool. All right. The process begins. Monica, you are safe. This is a first. <laughs> Mike. Funky, you're safe. You guys ready for this? Kent and Autumn. I don't want to turn on anybody. You have to consider that there's only 10 of us now. There's only 10 people left in the house, and three of us are not going to vote. She's struggling with what she needs to do. Being the head of household is not fun right now. It's a very nerve-wracking. I've been biting my nails like crazy. Krista Bell is going to put the keys in any particular order. I'm always nervous until I see my key pulled out. I'm just going to nominate two people that I think should go. I thought my life back home was drama. Oh my God, I can't wait to get home. There is no place like home.
All right, y'all. I need uh, everybody to gather around the table. Oh, it's that time. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Hey, y'all. Yeah. It's time. Okay. Good night. I honestly don't know what to do, and I'm not used to being the bad guy. <sighs> I've got a friendship with almost everybody, and I don't want anybody out. <laughs> oh, y'all know I have to see her. She got her robe on. She's <laughs> in a robe. The head of the household robe. As y'all know, when you pull your key out, <coughs> um, you say you're safe, put the key, turn it to your next person. Um, I want to tell, I didn't want to be put in this position this early in the game. Whether y'all disagree with my decisions, but I didn't want to put anybody up the stake, and I love everybody over here, and you know, if this cuts my head because of it, but it's something I had to do, and uh, I hope y'all understand that. Okay? Cool. cool. All right, process begin. Monica, you are safe. This is a first. <laughs> Mike. Funky, you're safe. You guys ready for this? Kent and Autumn. Did Kent and Autumn. And Autumn, I nominated you because of the fact that your emotions are extremely high and you're losing a part of yourself. I feel that, you know, it'd be better for you not being in the house because you are definitely losing the part of the Autumn that I first met. And it's nothing personal at all as far as Kent. It was just luck luck of the draw and I'm very sorry because there's nothing that I can possibly say I don't even want to be in my position right now and I don't have any hard feelings towards anyone if y'all have anything to say to me I mean please say it well this is just part of the game uh, everyone everyone at this table is going to be sitting where I am now well Autumn is sitting now so it's just part of the game I certainly don't hold it against you for having not maybe because I may have to do it somewhere down the line everybody may have to do it so it was a job you had to do, and it doesn't need to do that. Oh, I'm not mad at you, baby. Don't worry about it. What you're saying is very true. It's not about me. I am becoming a very bitter and angry person, and I don't want to take that home to my kid. So you're all right about that. So don't worry about it. And that's it.
A lot of what Krista said is true, but I have my game face on, I'm ready to play this game. I'm not scared, I'm not emotional anymore, I'm ready to go into battle and win this game. I knew I was going to be nominated. The minute Krista won the head of household, I, I pretty much knew. Krista is pretty much playing two ends against the middle, and probably why I'm nominated is, is because I don't play all the backstabbing, devious games. But I really do think I'm still in this game. Stick around. 